active super volcano of Japan. And uh, that is related to Mount Aso or Aso Sun in the Japanese island. These are the islands created by the uh, subduction of the oceanic plates under the uh, plate of the Eurasia. And that creates this uh, melting of the magma rising to the surface, creating the islands of the uh, Japan in the southernmost island. You can see now the Mount Aso or Aso Sun, which is a geologically active area. It is a caldera now filled with secondary volcanoes, as we call it. There are parasitic vents uh, forming on the top of the original one, which was one of the largest active, uh, or probably the largest active uh, caldera in the world. You can see the whole map, geological map of this area. The spread of the ash yesterday was... Uh, uh, that extent, you can see that, is around 130, 40 kilometer. It is started with these fumaroles. This is normal. Um, you don't expect these things, you know, in a very active island like the Japan to go out of control. Then this happened. A phreatic explosion, pyroclastic uh, cloud rolling down toward the people. I have some sound effects. I will let you listen to it after after uh, this has passed. This is the moment that they come to the shelter. The ash is falling on the shelter. And this is that shelter that we were talking about. It's covered in ash. And those are the tourist routes that they were marked. And the extent of the ash spread was amazing. And it spread through many areas covering vegetation, people. Uh, these are kind of, you know, abrasive, like uh, sandpaper. You can see how angular they are. They can damage everything. And when they fall on the car, this is the way it is. And people have been uh, killed in the past uh, in similar uh, paraclastic surges. Uh, this is what you can see here. This actually did, this event killed 25 people. Uh, some part of it is really tragic. If you don't want, don't listen to the sound of the ash falling on the people. One of them has a mobile phone, is filming this. And it falls, and they try to escape it. It's tragic, it's tragic. They're trying to escape downhill. But you cannot really go fast. This is a very rugged air landscape. <laughs> Yeah, and now you hear this uh, pebbles and rocks, ash falling on the mobile phone actually. It's horrific and sad. When such a thing happens, uh, a huge ash cloud can go really high and it can actually affect the air traffic and spread to all around the world carried by the jet stream. <laughs> 